Hello and welcome. In this video, we will be downloading and installing Microsoft SQL Server Express Edition 2017. SQL Server Express Edition is a free entry database. So if you want a database for learning or for little application that are less than 10 gigabyte in size, you can use SQL Server 2017 Express. It is what's regarded as a free entry level database. It can be used for learning and also for building small data driven web and mobile applications that are up to 10 gigabytes in size. Before you can install SQL Server Express, there are some very basic hardware and software requirements. The first is that you must have the .NET framework on your machine. So if you have a minimum at least 4.6 or higher. For hard disk, you need a minimum of 6 gigabyte of this space. Processor operating system, you need to have a 64-bit operating system. And the operating system will be a minimum of Windows 8 and above. So you must have Windows 8 and above, and it must be 64-bit in order to install SQL Server Express 2017. If you haven't got a 64-bit, or if you're still running Windows 7, then you need to download and install a lower version of SQL Server for example, SQL Server Express 2014. The processor required is a minimum of 1.4 gigahertz, but it's recommended that you have a processor running 2.0 gigahertz or more. So if you have a processor with a speed of 2.0 gigahertz or higher, that will be ideal. If not, the minimum required is 1.4 gigahertz. The download link for the SQL Server Express 2017 is displayed on the screen. So this is the site for SQL Server 2017 Express. So there are three options here for you to download. There is the SQL Server 2017 Express. This is the Core Express database server and includes the database engine. So this is what we need. Um, this one, if you want, this one basically is an advanced services and you need to down, you need to be registered. For example, when you join Visual Studio Dev Essentials, then you can download that. But this is the one we need. SQL Server 2017 Express. I'm just going to click on the download now to begin the download. So you can see the download has started. So basically it's just the executable. So once you double click on the executable, it should launch the software and you can start running the installation files. So this is what you would get when you try to run the exe file. So it tells you to select an installation type, basic, custom, and download media. We are going to go for the basic. So I'm going to select that. So you need to accept the license agreement. Just read through the license agreement and click accept. And once you've got that, it will tell you to specify the SQL Server installation location. So by default, it will install the server in this location, C Program Files, Microsoft SQL Server. So I'm going to accept the default installation. It tells you, it will tell you the minimum free space you have and the size of the downloads. It's only a small file. So I'm going to click this install button to install it and the installation should progress. So it's downloading install package. 
So the download has completed, so it's now installing SQL Server 2017 Express. So the installation has completed, however, there are some other options. So if you look at the bottom here, it's asking you to connect, to customize, to install SMS. We need to install SSMS. This is called SQL Server Management Studio. This is the tool that you need to manage SQL Server. So click on that to install SSMS. So click. So by clicking on that, that takes you to a different page for the SQL Server Management Studio. So you need to just scroll down and click on this link that says download SQL Server Management Studio. It tells you here what SSMS is. It's an integrated environment for managing any SQL infrastructure. So I'm going to click on this link here to begin the download. So you will then get a prompt. If you can see here, it tells you, do you want to run it? So there's an option there saying, asking you what you want to do. Um, it's telling you that the file is 801 megabyte and you can run it, you can save it or you can cancel. So we'll click on run. Once the SSMS has finished downloading, you will be presented with an installation screen. We no longer need the SQL Server 2017 Express screen because we have installed that. So just click on the close button on the bottom right to exit the screen. So click that and you will get a prompt to about the installer. Are you sure you want to exit? Say yes. And then you will be left with the SQL Server Management Studio screen and just click on the install button to begin the installation of SQL Server Management Studio. Once the installation of SQL Server Management Studio is completed, you get the screen pop-up saying setup completed. So you can now close the screen. In this video, we downloaded and installed Microsoft SQL Server Express Edition 2017. We also downloaded and installed SQL Server Management Studio, which is also referred to as SSMS. So SQL Server Management Studio is the tool you need to manage SQL Server. So that's it for this video lecture. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.